Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hey, good evening, my friend. <laughs> I'm fine. What about you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. And you? Fine. Thank you. What about your motorcycle? <laughs> it's, in, it's in the garage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is, um, so you you are not driving right now. You are resting. No, no, no. I <laughs> <coughs> I don't ride by my my bike because <laughs> I drive a, a car. <laughs> ah, okay, good. Yeah, excellent. <clears throat> I like the the motorcycle, Vicente. I like it so much. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I can't drive motorcycle <clears throat> only car but it's easy it's maybe easy. some someday i will learn someday i i teach you okay good <laughs> is it difficult or, or not no it's, it's easy it's the really? same like a car we only change the move uh, with our hands and in the foot Clutch with left hand and I don't know, yeah. accelerator. It's like right a hand to the clutch. Brake, <laughs> brake with uh, right foot. Yep. And <laughs> I don't know, maybe <laughs> I have an idea only. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very exciting riding a motorcycle. It's I a, guess yeah. Good experience. Yeah. Maybe someday. Yeah. We're gonna meet you. <laughs> okay. Someday we're good. gonna meet you, my friend. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Good to see you again. How are you? Bye. Thank. Good to see you too. Um, I did my homework. <laughs> okay. Yes. So uh, yesterday, Daniel asked a very interesting question that can be useful for all of us. Um, how do you say el penultimo? So we know that it's uh. not very common. So we say, uh, for example, last. 
you know, is the el último. Ahí se último. los escribí. Uh -huh. en a, so, si queremos decir penúltimo, is second to last. Oh. Second to last. Uh -huh. okay. So, we can say that uh -huh. yesterday was our second to last day of class. And today is the last day of classes. The last day. <laughs> uh -huh. Y ante penúltimo, <laughs> it's third to last. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. Uh -huh. Como tercero. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Como decir ante penúltimo sería third to last. Third so, you know, last, el último. Eh, penúltimo, second to last. Y el ante penúltimo, third to last. Uh -huh. Third uh -huh. to last. And also, there okay. is another that can be very useful. Ahí se los escribí en el chat por si quieren tomar notas. Es, es una expresión que puede ser muy útil para todos. Eh, y hay otra. Uh -huh. Como decir un día sí y un día no. Ah. Uh, when we not... were talking about shower. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you said the sad that. No. <laughs> so, we say every other day uh, every other day it? I every, every other every, day other day uh -huh. oh, así okay. se dice un día sí un día no y por every ejemplo podemos decir I, I wash uh -huh. every day uh, uh, could day. you please uh, repeat again teacher sorry Yes, um, so we can say I wash my hair every other day. Every other day. Uh -huh. I wash my hair every other day. Other yeah. day. Ahí se los escribí en el chat de la meeting porque uh -huh. es muy, muy útil esas frases. So, okay. ajá, y, y pues como tendemos a andar traduciendo, ¿verdad? No vamos a decir one day yes, one day no. <laughs> <laughs> no, please no. <laughs> okay. okay, good. So now you know, um, every okay. other day. And every other day. Second to last. Así es que second to last. Les hice la tarea con bono incluido. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. ¿Usted cree que eso de... Bueno, yo creo que es algo muy como natural, ¿verdad? El querer estar traduciendo cuando uno está aprendiendo, digamos. Yes, it's, it's very common, but you can make sure um, with different sources. Um, Es, es natural, como usted dice, pero hay diferentes maneras de comprobar también si lo que estamos viendo um, es como confiable, ¿ok? So, porque sí, recuerdo todavía mi día de estudiante. <ríe> sí. <ríe> so, teníamos que hacer una presentación y que no sé qué, y bueno, entre todas las comidas, y de repente fue como que uh, tenía que hablar de lo que no... Cosas que no, no soportaba. Estábamos aprendiendo. I can't stand this, this and this and that. Um, así, um, like phrasal verbs. Y um, en comida, yo casi que solo cosas así muy extremas como conejo. No puedo comer esas cosas o culebras y, y así. Pero normalmente de todo. Menos lo hay algo que sí no soporto son los menudos de pollo. Las vísceras tripas, uh -huh. menudos, mollejas, hígados y todo eso. Entonces yo quería saber cómo se decía. Entonces dije yo, ¿y en inglés existirá de verdad? La gente se comerá los menudos de pollo, le dirán vísceras, quizás le dicen vísceras. Entonces busqué en el, busqué en el traductor vísceras de pollo y el traductor dijo chicken visors. Y yo dije, se oye raro chicken visors. Entonces lo busqué en el Google como... Um, Puse chicken visceral, imágenes, y me salían como, um, ¿cómo se llaman? Viseras, esas cositas, como sí. gorra, pero ah. sí. Ajá, entonces dije, ah, pues no, no es eso, no es eso. Entonces luego dije, ¿será que sí se llaman menudos? Y escribí en el traductor, menudo de pollo. Y el traductor escribió chicken giblets. Entonces puse en Google, chicken giblets, imágenes. Y sí, ahí salían las mollejas, el hígado y todo. Entonces uh -huh. pueden buscarlo con imágenes. Si son palabras, por ejemplo, uh -huh. como comprobar que lo que el traductor le está diciendo es lo que realmente yo necesito, right? Y uh -huh. uh, también hay muchas, eh, eh, hay 
bueno, las redes sociales, si uno las sabe utilizar para algo productivo, le pueden ayudar mucho. Um, hay un par de, de gringos, hablantes nativos, que enseñan este tipo de frases. Entonces busqué varios nativos que tienen TikTok y este, enseñan frases así en inglés. Y es, es muy útil, de verdad. Si uno, um, en vez de estar viendo gente bailando en TikTok, <ríe> buscar uh -huh. algo que nos ayude. <ríe> o gente es haciendo tonteras, comiéndose un taco chiloso, el más chilo. No, o sea, ver cosas así que le que le construyan, ¿verdad? Porque si no, o sea, no, de repente si uno puede ver chistes, alguna cosita, porque hay que, hay que buscar también algo de desestresarse, reírse. But yes, um, podemos hacer uso de esos recursos eh, para uh, poder uh, construirnos, aprender, um, educarnos y todo. So yes, hay, hay muchas maneras de hacerlo. Pero okay. ahora es más fácil con lo de la pregunta de, del compañero Rafael. Um, buscar los medios para dejar de como estar traduciendo, decir, ok, yo quiero aprender a decir, ¿cómo digo un día sí, un día no? Porque eso casi que es una cosa que hacemos seguido, utilizar, ¿verdad? Decir, um, yo como que veo mi correo un día sí, un día no, o uh -huh. este, hago uh, dieta un día sí, un día no, lo que sea. Uh, veo a mi novio un día sí, un día no, etcétera. Whatever. Les puede servir uh -huh. para mucho. Decimos un día sí, un día no sí. seguido. Entonces es sí. como decir, ok, si lo traduzco sería one day yes, one day no. Suena raro. <risa> Quiero comprobar. Entonces yo me meto a Google, me meto a TikTok, etcétera, y busco. Ajá, y ahí vamos viendo y pues, hay formas de comprobar que sí, es, es de verdad lo que necesito. Como les digo, en TikTok eh, yo veo, los, son como dos o tres hablantes nativos y hay un señor que es coaching en pronunciación también. Y da cursos, ya son pagados, ¿verdad? Pero cuando necesito uh, palabritas así, de repente me pongo a verlo, a este, le voy a compartir el per esos perfiles para que de repente los curosen. Hay muchas Listo, cosas interesantes. Ya. Ok, thank you very much. Uh -huh. You're more than welcome. Ok, thank so, you. <laughs> you're more than welcome. Yeah, that is, um, we never stop learning. Nunca se deja de aprender algo nuevo right. cada día. So, yes. Y pues es natural, como decimos, en intentar traducir, pero pues hay maneras de, um, de uh, comprobar cómo es que se dice lo que en realidad queremos decir. Y pues tratar de evitar en la manera de lo posible, porque ustedes ya tienen bastante vocabulario. Entonces no necesitan estar traduciendo lo que escuchan, ¿verdad? So, y tampoco muchas veces no necesitan ya traducir lo que van a decir, porque si estoy pensando primero en español y después lo llevo al inglés, ahí es donde nos trabamos, porque no es como exacto. Entonces, um, tratar de educarnos ya, ya um, tra tal vez empezar pensando en inglés, qué es lo que tengo que hacer, qué es lo que hice ayer qué hice en la mañana, qué comí, qué me dijeron, cómo me sentí, etcétera. Pensamientos en inglés, ¿ya? So, y así se van acostumbrando. Así yo me quité la maña de traducir, porque estaba okay. ya terminando la carrera y tenía la mala costumbre de estar traduciendo. Cuando escuchaba que alguien estaba hablando, yo en mi mente lo estaba diciendo en español, pero era, es mala costumbre. Ya en estos niveles que ustedes están, ya es como irse la quitando. En básico digo yo que todavía, ¿verdad? Porque nos estamos adaptando, pero ahorita ustedes uh -huh. ya van y felicidades de paso. Nos van para el nivel much. intermedio. Thank Entonces, you. es de dejar de, de esa costumbre de estar traduciendo. Ya a este nivel ustedes ya tienen bastante vocabulario y de repente sí, de repente sí podemos recurrir a eso, pero irlo dejando gradualmente. Y consejo. Okay, from today. Uh, so, Taquito, ¿cómo es que se llama? <laughs> Está el perro. From today, we, Rocky, if, we Rocky. Need, if we need something about English, we're going to call you. Okay, so I can give you some tips or send in or share something. El, el grupo sigue abierto, pueden compartir. Acuérdense que van a pasar quizás unas dos o tres semanas sin clases. I don't know. So, it's bueno que sigan practicando. Um, como les digo, en más tarde o mañana les voy a compartir algunos um, videos o perfiles de TikTok que, donde veo palabras así como cosas rebuscadas y que son tres, son tres hablantes nativos. 
que me gusta ver TikTok de ellos. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. And Thank we can you. continue practicing. Podemos practicar, escribir, ver, vi esto, ¿qué les pareció? Y tratar de, in English, right? So, hey, I saw this okay. video. It's, uh, it's interesting. Let's try. Let's pronounce this and etc. Yeah, you can continue practice. That's, um, that's why we are here and we are learning everyone. Everyone, because we are not native speakers. So, we keep on learning. Uh, okay. So um, we're going to continue like, uh, yes, we have a conversation here in the platform and um, about the uses of um, ask and tell. I know that this, is, it was kind of tricky with the exercise on the platform, but yes, we're going to review that topic today and practice pronunciation with this conversation that we have there in the platform. We also have the audio here, so it's uh -huh. good. It's easier for me, and then can I take a message? Okay. Okay. So we're going to listen to the conversation, and after that, we're going to practice it. Let me. Okay. Good. Okay. We can hear. I don't know. Me too. It doesn't have. Me it too. doesn't have audio. Okay. Let me set up again. Then conversation. Okay. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Right. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so in this, I think the vocabulary is pretty easy. And we have the part B, the rest of the conversation. The exercise is to listen to three other calls and write down the caller's name. As you see here, um, is, uh, um, he, he had some issues with the last name and they were spelling in order to get it correct. So we're going to do the same here. We're going to listen to three calls and you have to write down the caller's names. Caller's name, okay, good. You can take notes in your notebooks. Uh -huh. I'm going to play the audio. Page 102, exercise seven, part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the caller's names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Tom Lee from the Beijing office. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? 
I am afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 846-555-9037. Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Did you get the three colors names, or you want to listen again? Um, we got it. Okay. So we're going to check. What was the first caller's name? Tom Lee. Lee. Tom Lee. Mr. Tom Lee. Uh huh. Mr. Tom Lee. Uh huh. And the second one, it was. Susan Brown. Susan Brown. Susan Brown. Brown. And, Brown. And, the last and Kelly. One? And Kelly. 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 That was easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we are ready to to work in the in a call, call center. center. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. And yes, I think that you could do it. Some uh in some some places they take uh people with 80% of English and then you know the rest when you are there. Uh-huh. So the first time, well, I got a, a job in Telus and um the account was about like Tigo here in El Salvador, but it was in mm -hmm. Canada and the name is Kudos. So I said, how am I going to do this? I don't know nothing about cell phone. <laughs> mm. But I learned mm -hmm. being there. Um, they teach you the vocabulary that you're going to need. For example, I learned how to say that. Uh, I, I don't know how to say that even in Spanish when you are sharing your, um, um, cuando estamos compartiendo internet. ¿Tendrá algún nombre en español? Um, Solo compartir share internet. The, the, the password. Share know. internet. Ajá, compartir internet. Decimos aquí. Uh, ya era tethering. Or give me the password. Or give me the, I don't know, uh -huh. the link. I don't know. Oh, so, yeah, you share internet. Compartimos internet. Compartimos datos. Um, eso en, para ellos es tethering. Tethering. Uh -huh. Porque había gente que llamaba, que, que se le habían acabado los datos y que no los había usado y no sé qué. Entonces teníamos que preguntarles si habían hecho tethering, si habían compartido internet y cosas así. So, it, but yes, you learn the vocabulary being in that, in that place. Uh, and some other things. I'm currently working on a call center again. So the name is uh, Superior Uniform Group. And uh, I, I didn't know how to say ruedo in English. Ruedo, el ruedo de la ropa de un pantalón. Uh -huh. I, I didn't know. No sabía cómo se decía. Entonces ahí aprendí es hem. 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 Spell it, please. H. Could you please? Uh -huh. Ya lo escribí ahí en el meeting chat. H E M. Hem. E M. Uh huh. H E M. H E M. Hem. H E M. Uh -huh. And many other vocabulary related to clothing and uniforms. I I learned it there. So yes. Yeah. Okay. So don't, don't be afraid. If you want to try, do it. It's it's okay. And then you learn the rest being on the place. And it's kind of nice. Okay, good. All right, so um, we're going to practice <laughs> this conversation. I think it is not needed to, um, to play the audio again. So I'm going to create a breakout room for you to practice with your classmates. And uh, you have it in the material that you download from the platform and also in the presentation that I sent to you. So let me create the breakout room so that you can practice. This is, um, I think that the last chance that you will have to practice with someone. <laughs> so, but I don't know, Daniel said that he, he has some uh, coworkers and people that can speak English with him. 
But yes, you can practice as well as I told you before using the, the chat, the WhatsApp chat. So, but yes, we are going to practice okay. here in the meeting right now. We will try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Hello, my friend. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. fine. I'm looking the dialogue to practice. Let me check where is. I got it. Look in the dialogue. Okay, I have it. If you, if you want, you can practice with me. I have the, the, the dialogue. El que estábamos leyendo. Con la teacher, ajá. Sí, es donde habla secretaria, Mr. Kale, y otra vez secretaria. Okay. 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 I, will, I will begin. I'm going to be the secretary only, only for this example, you know. Oh, right. Bueno. Secretary. Good morning, Mr. Park Industria. Hello, my... May I speak to Mrs. Mrs. Graham, please? It's not in. Take a message. Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Hi. Please tell her how our meeting is on Friday Friday at 2 and 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 555 4031. 646 555 4031. Yes, Mr. Kill, I'll keep. Mrs. Graham, the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Compañera Susan. Cristina, no, eh, María y Ruth. Uh -huh. Ya soy yo. Sí. Hola. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Parker Industry. Hello. May I speak to Mrs. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kyle. Is that G-A-L-E? No. It is K-A-L-E. All right. Please. They had our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her, ask, ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mrs. Kell, I'll give. I, I'll give Mrs. Graham the message. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Ok. Ahora nos, nos cambiamos de roles. Ajá. Usted sea secretario. Ok. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Mr. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not it. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. It's that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 12, at 2.30. Friday at 
Ferry. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kill. I, get, I give Mrs. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Mrs. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's snoring. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. No lo puedo ver. Please. Sigan. Sí. <laughs> please tell. No lo puedo ver. Quítale la X, en la X, quítale. Uh, please. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555. 4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Miss, Mrs. Kale. I give me Mrs. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, compañeras. Goodbye. Okay, that one was uh, pretty easy. So uh, we're going to go right away to the grammar code here. So taking message with uh, tell and ask. Let us watch this video together and then we're going to discuss the um, explanation. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person, plus two, plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, 
Please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay, so um, this is what is in the platform about taking messages with tell and ask. Um, do you have any question about this? No questions? No question. Okay, so yes, that is pretty easy. Um, so in this case, I know we are taking messages. Um, you can use this statement um, and say uh, with the verb tell, please tell and then the object or the person tell her that the meaning is on Friday. You can omit that. That it can be omitted. You can use it or you can, uh, you can uh, leave it without that, and it doesn't matter. And then uh, ask is when you are making a request. So, and in both cases, to sound more polite, you can use please or the models. Could you? Would you? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much the same. Um, es casi que lo mismo. La diferencia es como uh, decirle, dile a fulano que haga esto, por favor. O uh -huh. por favor, pídele que me llame. Please ask him to call. So, um, I, I think it is even more polite using the request form. Creo es más, um, más como cortés usar la forma okay. de request con ask. Uh -huh. Cuando estamos pidiéndole a alguien que el favor de, de dar un mensaje. So um, uh, it is preferable, but you can use both ways and it's okay. Um, and can we use, for example, in request, mm -hmm. in the second sentences, in second sentence, could you ask him to call me this afternoon and we can add at the end, please? Or, or yes, what? you can add please at the end. Mm -hmm. Sí, pueden usar please al final. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking it's about... more polite or what? Uh, or not? Um, mm, asking to... Um, yes, pero es como con los comments. Si ¿Sí, se recuerdan cuando vieron los comments, cuando agregamos please al final, es como damos una orden y al final se suaviza. <laughs> Dile que me llame, por favor. Pídele que me devuelva la llamada, por favor. So, uh -huh. yes, es como, sonaría como que le estamos dando una orden. Al final, si sí lo suavizamos con el please, etcétera, y está bien, pero ajá, si lo hacemos de esa forma, suena más como una, una orden que como un favor, como un request. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. No está mal, pero uh, no podemos usarlo con todo mundo así, ¿verdad? So, ah. tal vez a una, a no de nuestro mismo rango, digamos, pero ya alguien más arriba no podríamos hacerlo de esa forma. Siempre es polite, pero como le menciono, suena como, es como una orden, eh, pero lo estamos haciendo um, cortésmente con el please al final. Ok. Uh, any other question or comment? No, it's okay. All right. Okay, now let's unscramble the messages. Uh, we had the formula, so you can place tell or ask at the beginning. Then the person or the subject. Then you can add to that if it is a statement, okay? or you can omit it, and then the complement. So let's try to put these sentences in order, and I'll give you some time for you to do it. You can do it in the notebook, and then we can share the answers. Okay, we will try.
Split foi created. <laughs> I was pressing at the key to check the answers, but no, I have to move. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's check. Uh, volunteer to uh, give us a number one. Francisco Daniel, thank you. Uh, please tell Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. Yes, excellent. That is correct. Thank you so much. Number two, Vicente. Could you ask to Patrick, call me at two. Call me at 12. Uh, yes, at 12. Um, at 12. Uh -huh. I heard two times. Could you? Two. It says one time. Can you repeat that, please? Could you, um, could you tell Amy that? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, number two. Number two. Could you please. ask to Patrick that call me at eleven? Uh, no, no, no. Twelve. At twelve. Okay. Yes. 12. Yes. Once two. Very good. Could you yeah. ask? Patrick. Patrick to call me at 12. At 12. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much. A volunteer for number three? Me. Okay, Rafael. Could you tell Amy that the dance performance is tonight? Excellent. That is correct. Thank you so much. Maria, number four. Could you tell Cecilia that the picnic is in the park? Yes, excellent. That is correct. Uh, number five, volunteer. Me, did you? Me? Now I heard two me's. Um, Vicente. Number, number five, one, please. It's number five. Okay, would you ask Noriko, meet me um, at the stadium? Mm -hmm. Excellent, that is correct. Thank you so okay. much, Vicente. And number okay. six, Francisco, I heard that you say me. Uh, okay, uh, please ask Jason to bring the ticket to the rock concert. Um, that is correct. Excellent job. Okay. All right. Uh, then you have um, an exercise here. Let's see. This one is uh, to uh, write something asking for an usual um, uh, favor or an unusual message. For example, we have Dear Rachel. Could you tell Brian to wear two different colored socks tomorrow? Hmm. Please tell Jeff that our class tomorrow is at midnight. Would you ask mm -hmm. Sung Hee to bring a hamburger and french fries for breakfast tomorrow? Hmm. So it's unusual messages, unusual favors. So the idea is to mm -hmm. write um, an unusual favor or message to someone using the structure that we have already studied here. Um, mm -hmm. That is the, um, the idea of this exercise. Have you ever okay. asked or been asked for something unusual? No, I, everything is okay. Mm -hmm. when, um, but um, and have you ever been asked uh, for something unusual or you have asked someone to do something unusual? Uh, yes, in my job. Mm, for example? <laughs> um, 
for example, when we arrive to, to our job, uh, there is a there is a machine when you put the hand or the finger and they uh, and that machine register the the time when you arrive to the job and and if you ask to other hey put your finger here please and no no register oh wow <laughs> that's kind of weird <laughs> yes it's unusual unusual right mm -hmm. Anybody else? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, when, when I am hungry, <laughs> I tell to my my friend, could you give me a candy, please? And, um. and she and she gave to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that um, mm, uh, that can be a uh, like unusual. Yes, asking for a candy when you're hungry. Mm -hmm. You could ask for something different. Can you bring me a sandwich for a candy? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that's nice. Okay. Um, anybody else? Okay, well, let's continue so you can um, do this exercise whenever you sure. have time and ask for, yes? I have a question. Tom, he is a name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Daniel? Yeah, I have a question about the school. I can barely hear you. It's like you are far, far away. No, now. Yeah, in, in this part when they when they say um soon he what is mean that? Ah, uh, that's it, the name, proper Sun. name. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, um, then we have um, the listening exercise and also uh, this one as a pronunciation, you can practice the reduction of could you and would you. So, you know, we don't say could you, it's could you tell her. So it sounds like um, they put it together and sounds really short. So let's listen. Page 104, exercise 10. Pronunciation. Reduction of could you and would you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how could you and would you are reduced in conversation. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? So that's pretty easy, right? So you just put it together mm -hmm. and say it fast. Could you? Would you? So that's mm -hmm. um that's it. So I think it's not much to do here. But this one it's uh pretty uh interesting and we need to um take the chance here to practice listening. So we're going to complete these telephone messages. Um I wanted to close this, but I can't. Okay, um, you have this listening exercise, so we're going to do it together. Um, I'm going to play the audio and you will listen to the telephone call and you're going to write down the two messages. So if you have the material printed, uh, that's okay. So you're just going to fill out. If not, you can do it in your notebook. You're going to write a little bit more and complete um, uh, these spaces, I guess. So complete the information. Are you ready for the listening? Yes, we are. Okay. Page 104, exercise 11, listening. Taking a message. 
Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lin and Ms. Carson. Write down the messages. 1. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lin, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lin is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 718-555-3290. 718-555-3290? That's it. Okay. I'll ask him to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Paris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 2. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry. There's no answer. May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 914-555-1187. Extension 313. 914-555-1187. Extension 313? That's right. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. Did you get all the information? Um... Some pieces of the conversation. <laughs> okay, so no worries. I'm going to play it one more time. Okay, thank you very much. Page 104, exercise 11, listening. Taking a message. Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lin and Ms. Carson. Write down the messages. One. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lin, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lin is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 718-555-3290. 718-555-3290? That's it. Okay. I'll ask him to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Paris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 2. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry. There's no answer. May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 914-555-1187, extension 313. 914-555-1187, extension 313? That's right. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. One more time. Um, 
Yes, please. I, I guess we. Yeah, we got yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's try to complete this one. Page 104, exercise 11, listening. Taking a message. Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lynn and Ms. Carson. Write down the messages. One. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lynn, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lynn is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 718-555-3290. 718-555-3290? That's it. Okay. I'll ask him to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Paris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Two. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry. There's no answer. May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 914-555-1187. Extension 313. 914-555-1187. Extension 313? That's right. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see. What was the information that we were missing? Let's check the answers. <laughs> Okay, so um, from conversation number one to Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin. From Mrs. From Paris. Paris. Of the city of Car Center. Car Center. Car Center. And the phone 718 Yeah, okay. What was the message? Call Mr. Paris before 3.30 this afternoon. Before 3.30. Before 3.30. Important. Oh, very important. Wow. Number two, it was to Wendy Carson. Wendy Carson. From? From First um, National yeah. Bank. Of First National Bank. Uh-huh. And National the phone Bank. number? Phone number nine one four five 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 one one eight seven extension three one three three one three. And then the message is to call Sam at the bank. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Well, and after that, to finish this, you have a reading exercise. You can practice the reading comprehension. You will still have access to the platform. Um, it, it, creo que sí les queda como el acceso a la plataforma durante algún tiempito después de terminar el módulo. So you can continue uh, watching the videos. Also, uh, también están en las playlists de YouTube. And... Uh, Yes, whenever you, um, ahí les compartí un, uno de, el, el, unos videos y también el perfil de donde a veces eh, se aprenden. Les voy a compartir otro más tarde um, para, okay. pues tal vez lo pueden chequear de repente que estén, quieran ver un su TikTok y aprender algo nuevo en inglés. Yeah. So that would be great. Um, so congratulations, everyone. You finish your module and I hope that you continue in this way uh, next year.
and I hope uh -huh. you have a very, very nice holidays. Happy Christmas. For you too, teacher. Nice thank holidays you for, for all. <laughs> okay, thank you so much and see you around. Take care. See you around. You too, teacher. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye teacher. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.